summarize what we do for the base, it's going to be the occupational and environmental health risk assessments for those who work here. It's going to be your respiratory protection, it's chemical exposures, drinking water quality, hazardous noise assessments, anything along those lines is what we're going to be doing. Ever since I was young, I wanted to be a pilot, but I then was put into a pretty strong glasses prescription, so I had to adjust to my career goals, because at the time, PRK and LASIK weren't an option. But then once I got to base level, I went ahead and got the PRK and found out at one of my follow-up appointments that you don't need a waiver anymore, that they've made the process a lot easier if you do have vision problems to become a pilot, and so I started the process immediately. The leadership here at Laughlin Air Force Base has been phenomenal. The support that they have given me, the encouragement that they've given me, my squadron commander, of course, Colonel Jones, we've talked about her, how instrumental she has been to give me her perspective, not just as a fighter pilot, but as a female fighter pilot, and everything that she has offered along the way. And Colonel Prather, from day one, when he found out this was my pursuit, he offered to write a letter of rec, he signed my applications, and he took a chance on me. Some of the things I'm most looking forward to are just seeing the process start to finish. Knowing what it takes to schedule a sortie and go get fitted for flight suit, G suit, all the PPE that I need, getting to get suited up, step out to the jet. I am excited to experience that. So I'm very much looking forward to running the checklist, but I'm getting to do it with someone special to me who has been there for me, a mentor to me, and I, so I'd have to say for this, this experience as a whole, it's just going to be, I'm hoping it'll really set the tone for my future as a pilot, and I'm going to be learning from the best. I can't wait. I can't wait.